Could copper beat silver and gold for profits in 2021? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. You know that silver and gold are where it's at with us precious metals stackers, right? But I get asked a lot about copper. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out why. Copper is one of the best performing industrial metals during this pandemic. Copper is nearing all-time highs, up more than 100% in less than a year. And the bull market is just getting started, in my opinion. That's why people are considering how to get in on this copper rally. So what's going on? Why is copper so hot? Well, I can tell you in one word what is really driving copper's prices, and that is inflation. It's coming, folks. In fact, it's already here. We're seeing it in commodities from uh, food and, and lumber and zinc and nickel and, yes, copper. And it isn't going to stop anytime soon. This uh, inflation tax, and that's what it is, people, it's a tax on our future. Don't forget that. But this in, in, in inflation tax is going to drive up consumer prices. Eventually, we're going to see it in spades. We already see it growing, but it's going to be overwhelming, in my opinion. And frankly, it's a big reason why I stack physical precious metals. I love my gold. Okay, you know that if you follow me on my channel. Gold is a monetary metal, and it is a great buy right now with a lower percentage premium as compared to silver. So that's why I've been buying up gold physically. Silver is primarily an industrial metal, okay? And it's a great play on it eventually being seen like a monetary metal, which it is and should be seen as. But it's not really seen that way right now. So from an industrial standpoint, silver is a good play. But these are precious metals, okay? Silver and gold. And in my opinion, that is why you need to stack it physically. However, copper is only an industrial metal. It's not a precious metal. But no, I don't physically stack copper, okay? I know the questions keep rolling in. Yankee, why don't you stack copper? Well, I do have some copper rounds. They're pretty cool. Um, I, you know, they're fun. And I do have this big beefy copper bar okay yeah that is one chunk of copper i also have quite a few uh pre-1982 lincoln pennies uh, this these right over here uh, the ones with the dates on them they are a little special to me because they come from my late grandfather grandpa earl yeah, he gave these to me when I was just a little tyke and was, you know, getting interested in coin collecting because of him uh, primarily. So I, I always think of him when I see these. But that's all the copper I have, okay, pretty much. Because one of the tenets of stacking the Yankee way is to stack dense, okay? As a prepper stacker, stacking physical copper would be anything but dense, okay? I'd end up with a whole room full of this stuff, and I don't want that. But I do like to invest in copper as a commodity with incredible upside over the next few years. At least that's what I think. In fact, I think in 2021, copper could actually outperform both silver and gold. So while I don't physically stack copper, I do like to invest in copper in the paper markets, in my investment accounts, like my IRA. I really believe, folks, that this is a big 
opportunity. Remember that the U.S. government is going to spend a boatload, trillions, on infrastructure spending very soon. And that is going to require a lot of copper, a lot of resources that are not available right now, a lot more spending to mine this stuff. And that is going to push up prices. Now, I don't like the fact that our government is doing this, okay? Don't, don't, don't get me wrong here. I believe the private sector should be financing these costs. I think they'd do a lot better job of it than Uncle Sam. They wouldn't be, you know, so bureaucratic. They wouldn't, you know, have as much waste as our federal government has. But regardless, the macro trends with this upcoming infrastructure bill that they're about to, you know, put forth and probably sign is really good for commodities. And that is how I, as a personal investor, look at this stuff. It, th this is part of my strategy. I want to have positions in a whole host of commodities that I think are going to do well in this inflationary stimulated environment with both you know, easy monetary policy by the Fed and this crazy fiscal policy by the government. I think copper is a no-brainer. Okay, again, this is my opinion. You know, you need to be careful. I'm not a financial advisor. Definitely don't just, you know, invest in copper because Yankee says so. But let me tell you what I'm considering for this uh, copper play. And it is Phoenix Gold Resources. They look like a great play, people. And yes, it's a penny stock. Yes, it's very speculative. But... It ticks off all four components of my Yankee quadrant. Four factors that I consider when looking to invest my hard-earned money. Namely, management, projects, ownership, and financials. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time about management or financials, but you can check out their website link and the presentation for their company in the description of this video. But let's just touch on ownership for a minute. Its founder, CFO, and associates all control about 50% of the shares. So this is a, a tightly held company with key people having a lot of skin in the game. I love that. Okay. And as far as the projects are concerned, they're pretty cool. They're um, Battle Mountain Mining District in Nevada is one of the world's most prolific gold jurisdictions. The company has a 50% ownership in two main properties, El Dorado and Plumes. And the other uh, owner in El Dorado is none other than Newmont Mining. Okay, that's a big, big name in uh, mining. But I don't want to spend uh, any more time talking about the gold aspect here. I want to focus on the copper. The company acquired a past-producing copper and zinc mine in Newfoundland, Canada, which will become the main focus for them in 2021. They've just announced the acquisition and the coming drilling program. The York Harbor site has been extensively explored already with various companies drilling over 19,000 meters of the property. 11 zones have been discovered with enriched copper zinc resources and many of the intervening areas between these zones have high potential as well. Again, do your own due diligence on Phoenix gold resources, but I'm convinced that there's quite an opportunity to make some serious coin on copper with them. Check out the links below and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, please like this video. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.